The federal government is facing a backlash in two states over its plans for new immigration detention centres. Some locals are calling community meetings to discuss the plans, while the Immigration Department has moved to clear up confusion about how children will be detained at one of the centres. Coming soon to Northam near Perth. About 1,500 asylum seekers and a host of unanswered questions. Why do I need them in this town when there's other people that need to be looked after in this town first? I can't go and get the dog, so how come they can come here and get, you know, get supported? Those in favour admit it's a divisive issue. I'm not against it. I know I'll probably make a lot of enemies. For some, it's not the new facility. It's about what happens next. Ultimately, 90% or more will probably be released because they'll be genuine refugees. Um, the next question is, well, where are those 1,500 people going to go? At Inverbracky in the Adelaide Hills, about 400 asylum seekers in family groups will move into former army houses. In the nearby town of Woodside, locals are already mobilising a public meeting. And I think everyone in the town feels a little bit ripped off that we've had it for want of a better word, dumped on us, as opposed to some consultation. And as leaders complained about the same issue... What we've got to now do is to sort out the details so that we don't end up sorting out a mess. The government provided some important assurances. All education costs will be taken by the Commonwealth, as is always the case. All health costs will be undertaken by the Commonwealth, as is always the case. That's two questions down, with many more to go. Paul Claric, ABC News.